Hi everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can restrict access to cloud EC using Azure Active Directory Conditional Access Policy. Before creating a policy, let's see how we are accessing cloud PC as of now. To access a cloud PC, let's log into cloudpc.microsoft.com. Let's provide the credentials here. Once we provide the credentials, we get an option to access my cloud PC either using uh, my browser or what I can do, I can now simply download the clients and uh, on the on the PC, on the Mac or Android or iOS device and or on the Windows device and can access using client as well. So let's go ahead and do the using the browser as of now. We try to access it. If you see this, I can access my cloud PC and I didn't get any uh, multi-factor authentication or any kind of condition access policy from while accessing this cloud PC, right? Let me close this window and let's create a conditional access policy now and then we'll see what differences we see uh, while accessing this cloud. Let's log into portal.azure.com and go to Azure Active Directory, go to Enterprise Application and let's go to Condition Access. Click on, click on New Policy and let's name this policy as Windows 365 and i'm going to assign it to uh selected users i already have a group and this group have my own cloud pc users part of it let's select the cloud app now select the app and search for windows 365 sorry windows 365 Select now the condition. Uh, let me do it for the platform, and it is for any platform. Location, choose any location, and configure the browser and mobile apps and desktop clients. And let's click on create, and uh, that's the name of the policy grant session so what you want to do you want to grant section require multi bit of indication right and let's create on create so now we have a policy in place and let's validate now how this policy is going to impact impact access to my cloud pc let's log into cloud pc.microsoft.com and provide the credentials here. Now, as we have enabled the two-factor authentication for the user, so uh, while accessing this particular application, let me see if I get a prompt on my, let me see if I get a prompt in my authenticator app. Yes, we have a request to approve. Once you approve the request, it will allow you to log in. And now a user can access this cloud. In this section of the video, I'm going to discuss about how you can implement a conditional access policy when user is trying to access this cloud PC using remote desktop client. Let's go to enterprise application and conditional access. What I have done, I have created a policy with the name of Windows Virtual Desktop Client. Let me show you what all computation I have done here. So I have uh, named it as the Windows Virtual Desktop Client because I I'm going to make, uh, this is the application which the user will be using. And then, uh, like I did before, I specified the user and uh, I have selected a cloud PC user and my, all my cloud PC users are part of this. Now, the next thing what we have done is uh, I have added the cloud app here. So, if you go to the cloud app and actions, then I selected the virtual desktop 
Windows Virtual Desktop Client. Then I have implemented the condition that it is uh, for any device, any location, and uh, the two apps I have included here is one is browser and the other one is the mobile apps and the desktop client. So uh, our main concern will be uh, the desktop client. So this is what we are trying to control here. And then uh, I just enable the enable the policy. Save. Let's log into the RDB client and let's try to subscribe the URL. So as we have enabled a policy, condition access policy for the Windows X client, so we are prompted to uh, authenticate on my authenticator app. So this is the request I have received. Let me approve it. And once approved, it allowed me to sign. As I don't want to manage my device here, so I just unselected it and uh, no sign in the app only. And this is how you can access your cloud PC now using the RDP card. So in this video, what we have covered, we have discussed about how you can uh, restrict the access to your cloud PC when the user is trying to access using browser or RDP client. I hope this will be informative for you. Please do share and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you and have a nice day.